Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do just a little vlog. It is Wednesday and I just put up the video of me and Keith in my closet and I was really nervous about having him in there because I figured he would notice a few things that he didn't know about. <laughs> But anyway, my daughter-in-law, my two granddaughters, and her mom just left, and we had a great day out here by the pool. And I had my camera out, and I thought, why don't I just start a vlog? So anyway, I need to put the umbrellas down, pick up a few things. While I'm out here, I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going to start a vlog and lead into the weekend. So you guys, next week on Wednesday, I'm gonna sit here in the shade a minute, we will be leaving for the beach. And we got two different places because some of my kids couldn't go at a certain date, but anyway, whatever. <laughs> it's just hard getting everybody together. So we're gonna be in Panama City uh, next week, Wednesday through the next Saturday. And then we're going over to I don't know my daughter-in-law got the beach house and I don't know if it's Rosemary Beach somewhere like that so we'll be there I'll let you guys know cuz I'm gonna vlog the whole week but we'll be at the beach for about a week and a few days so that will be fun but I have some loose ends to clear up here and I've got to do a couple of videos and I thought you know what why don't I just throw out a vlog because you guys seem to like it and I kept saying I was gonna do these poolside talks so I'm out here by the pool and uh, I just wanted to say you guys thanks for all your suggestions about my Hermes sandals I kept them and I want to tell you guys why because they're super comfortable both pair but I will tell you and this is odd and I've never heard anybody else say this I feel like the black pair are a little bit bigger than the gold pair. Now, I've been wearing them, the gold pair, around the house a lot, just trying to break them in. And people that have them say, yeah, they definitely have a break-in period. So I just decided to keep them. I would not have kept them if I weren't happy with them. And then some of you guys said, you know, um, they thought that they were maybe a half a size too small. But really, they're not too small. I think I could go eight, eight, whoops. I think I could go um, size eight, eight and a half. So I would love to have a white pair and when I do, I might get the eight and a half. But I feel like the black ones in a size eight feel like an eight and a half. I don't know, it's weird, but they're handmade so maybe they're not all the same. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, I have no idea. You guys know I don't know much about Hermes. What else do I have to tell you? I really uh, had a lot of fun doing the video with Keith. You guys, he is not the most, I don't know, his personality. He's a bit dry. <laughs> you guys know Keith. You guys know Keith. But it was super nice of him to uh, do the video with me. Oh, let me show you my my swimsuit. It is a Amazon, Amazon find. I got all of my swimsuits this year from Amazon. I just don't pay big money for swimsuits. I'm trying to, okay. So it's just this cute little, it's a two piece. It's just got this ruching here and the little ruffly top. It ties in the back. I think it's cute. I can't, I can't really see what I'm doing out here. It's so bright. I'm gonna kick some of these floats in the pool. Wow, you guys, it's hot today. Super hot. So Autumn sent me a text today and said that it was like 98 degrees in Houston. Wow. I'm not sure what the temperature is here, but it's super, super hot. Okay, I'm gonna lock up. Yesterday I had a paint party and I haven't cleaned everything up. I'll probably do that in the morning, but I just had a really good relaxing day and I really needed it. Here's what we painted at the paint party last night. It's just like a mermaid silhouette. This is done in acrylics. I've had some people say they would love me to do like a vlog sale of some of my art that's for sale. And I don't know if you guys are really interested in buying any of it or not, but if you are, let me know and I'll do it for you. So yeah, I've painted a lot of sunflowers this summer. Uh, update on my arms. There they are. I need to go in the house and put my armbands back on. They are not painful at all. Look at that, no wiggle. I love it, no wiggle, it was worth it. No wiggle, 
so <laughs> I'm just really happy. So tomorrow on Thursday makes six weeks since my surgery and I'm doing really well. It's just that my arms are a little numb, that weird numb feeling, you know? But that will subside. Under my arms are still healing a bit, still sore. I haven't started working out. I've done a few little arm exercises, but I just don't want to push it too fast. So anyway, yeah. Oh, while we're in here, I'll just show you my swimsuit better. Anyway, it's just one of those mom two pieces. You know what I mean? It's just, it's really cute because it's really roughly. I'm going to link all the cute swimsuits below. And yeah, it's a cute swimsuit. I don't feel embarrassed walking around in it. You guys, and what's so funny is in the summertime, I literally literally live in my swimsuits i really do i just get up in the morning if i'm you know gonna be anywhere outside i just throw on a swimsuit and a cover-up and that's what i live in even if i don't swim i don't know it's weird that's that's usually what i do but anyway okay i'm gonna turn the air off in here and we're gonna go back in the house okay so i changed into some shorts and a tank and i came in here to make a smoothie and this is my newest obsession, you guys. I'll link it below for you. Kachava Tribal Superfoods. And I've lost some weight since my surgery, mainly because the first two weeks I had no appetite, but I'd like to continue to lose a few more pounds. So this has been some pretty good stuff, you guys. I just mix it with ice and water. And also, I put a little bit of skim milk in there. I just can't do almond milk in a smoothie because it's slimy. To me, it's slimy. I like to use the powdered peanut butter. Let me get that, try to get it down. And, but one thing that I want to add to my smoothies, I want to add some collagen and maybe some greens. I, I have always been a smoothie person, you guys. Am I making you guys drunk? I've always been a smoothie person. So I got this big tub of powder peanut butter and it only has, let's see, 50 calories and two tablespoons and that's what I put in it. I used to put the natural peanut butter in my smoothies. Oh my gosh, it's so good and creamy, but I don't do that anymore because it is so, so many calories. 190 this is what I always used and I still eat this stuff like with a banana like for a treat but I don't put it in my smoothies I'm trying to keep my smoothies as low cal as possible and a smoothie for me um, this is a replacement meal actually today I haven't eaten you're not gonna believe it it is 517 I've had coffee oh and I had one of these little I had one of these but I'm not gonna buy them anymore even though I like them. They're called Whenever Bars. This is chocolate chip coconut, but I don't know, I get all these little seeds in my teeth. I don't think I'm gonna buy them anymore. So I had coffee in that this morning and nothing else. So I'm not have a smoothie. Keith is, uh, stayed over to work on the race car, so he, he probably won't be home for a while. Whew, I've been out in the sun all day. And look at me, I do not burn. I have literally, literally been out in the sun I, I have put sunscreen on my face, that's it. And it's weird. And when I turn brown, I turn brown all of a sudden. Like, I'm not even really all that brown. I just, it's like Mediterranean skin or something. My dad was like that. All of a sudden, he would just be really dark. And that's the way I do it. I think it just seeps into my skin. It is so weird, you guys. But anyway, <laughs> I've been out in the sun all day. I need a break. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this, yummy. So I ordered another one and a vanilla one. I'm gonna take it to the beach with me and have it for two meals. I'm having this two meals. I don't eat three meals a day. So basically, yeah, I have one of these and a meal. So that's what I'm doing. I wanna lose, I wanna lose about 10 pounds would be great, 15 would be better. Wow, yummy. That's got about 300 calories in it. And it's a blend of organic superfoods, plant-based proteins, and it is yummy. A whole body meal. This is the chocolate, and I have some vanilla coming, you guys. Yum, it is so good. I highly recommend this because it's so 
filling and you don't crave ice cream because I'm a cra I'm an ice cream fanatic. Mm. When I get done with this, I'm pretty satisfied. Okay, I'm gonna go relax and then I have something to show you guys that I bought. It's nothing super naughty, but um, it's pretty cool. So I wanna show you guys something I got in just a bit. Hey guys, okay. So I never finished filming. Actually, it was day before yesterday. So today's actually Friday and I'll just finish out this vlog. I have a little unboxing for you guys, but it is Friday morning. Keith is off today. He takes off every other Friday now. He says it's preparation for retirement. <laughs> so I'm just rewarming up my coffee. He's downstairs working on a shelf for the pool house studio because I want to display paintings that we do in our class. So anyway, here's to morning coffee. Cheers. Hello, gorgeous. I love this little cut. Mm. Okay, so I'll probably have my protein shake around noon. I try not to eat or drink anything other than coffee until noon. I don't want to wake up and start eating and then just, if I do that, it's, it's over. <laughs> so anyway, I'm more of a snacker. I'm not a mealer. You know what I mean? I don't eat three meals a day, but I do snack, so. Okay, so I'm going to go out to the pool house and gather a few things. Uh, really just paintings we've done in some of our classes and uh, then we're gonna go upstairs and I have a little coach unboxing for you guys actually it's a reveal because I actually unboxed it Wow it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood a beautiful day in the neighborhood won't you be mine won't you be mine won't you be my neighbor okay I never did really put the place together. Look at it. So I got some stuff to do today. Got a little work to do. Okay, so here's a little painting. I'm probably gonna frame it. Last year I got the girls, did I show you guys this? I put their little handprints and then we added a couple little um, Doria and Nemo. Actually I need to make one of Nemo's wing, uh, fins, wings, uh, fins just a little bigger. Um, but anyway, so there's the girls with Doria and Nemo, and I asked them, do you want any more friends? And my da my granddaughters are so girly, they're like, no, we just need a bracelet. So I think I'll do that today. But anyway, you guys, it's a mess in here. It's a mess. I've got a lot to do. And Keith's working on some shelves for me so I can display some of the artwork that we've done in our classes. Because I'm running out of room. There's a giant canvas that I'm gonna prepare, and I have several things I'm considering painting on this giant canvas, but I'm still not sure. This is from the class the other day. Yeah, so anyway. I always have something to do. I would love to just wake up one day and be totally bored. Now yesterday, I have to admit, you guys, I did not feel good. I had no energy. And yesterday was six weeks since my surgery, and I still don't have all of my strength back. I mean, I'm doing good, but I still feel, or I still get more tired than I did before the surgery. So these things just take a while, and um, so yeah, so I'm just out here moving some stuff around and I'm gonna get my paintings in order because I think Keith's gonna hang that shelf for me. But wow, it's windy, you guys. Look at that, look at the trees. It's so sunny out here. It's really windy. decided to do this it's not a real unboxing because I looked at it the other day I just could not control myself it's a reveal I guess coach reveal and I had my setup here in my closet since Keith and I did the uh, video together 
so I just thought I would do it in here. And I had several people saying that they missed my closet. They missed being in my closet. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Little, Do a little spin in here. Okay. And, uh, so, maybe I should video in here from time to time, right? Okay. All right, let's just get right to it. So, I'm super excited. Now, you guys might be a little bit surprised by this item because it's a little different. Well, not really. I mean, it is, kind of. Okay. <laughs> it's a little different. Although I do have something similar and I'll show you in a minute. But it's a, a little different from my norm. So, you know, Coach, they come boxed. They come boxed pretty well and you already got a peek of it. Because I did unbox it. I should have put it back in the dust bag. But, this is what I got. And this is called the Ergo Bag. So... I know I've told some of you guys that I'm not into hobo bags anymore, but when I saw this one, I was like, I'm digging that bag. Like, I thought it was awesome, and it also comes in kind of a, uh, kind of a uh, taupe color, I think, but I really love this color green. It's similar to my, the color of my Chanel. I guess that's a little more green. This is a little more mint. And I've always wanted a green Gucci bag, always. But you guys, yeah, retail was $4.95. And uh, let me see what the receipt says. I know I got it at least 40 or 50% off. Why did I not put the prices on here? Okay, so here she is. Isn't this a beautiful bag? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tilt this down just a bit and show it to you on me. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, and I love it. It's so comfortable. Would this not be a great bag for vacation? And just, it's just so comfortable. And of course, Coach, you always do the straps right. It is adjustable. Yeah, you guys, I just thought this was the cutest bag. Oh, I just fell in love with it right when I saw it. So I love the way it's this moon shape. So let me pull out some of the stuffing and show you the inside. Coach is killing it. I think we all agree with that. Okay, I'm making a mess here. <laughs> all right, you guys, today Keith is off. Did I already tell you guys that? So he's down in the basement working on his puzzle. We're just having a stay at home day. We might go out to dinner tonight. I'm not sure, I don't know. As the day goes on, I get less and less that I wanna leave the house. I am such a homebody. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so here is, let me try to get this out of the way. Here's the inside of the bag. It's really, okay. <laughs> it is, oh my gosh. Okay, take my word for it, people. <laughs> it's material. It's got a pocket back here that snaps. A snappy pocket a big snap pocket back here this handle is oh, okay I know what I'll do I will undo the handle and I will show you the interior of this awesome bag so okay I don't usually say four letter words you guys but I'm about to okay okay hold on I'm gonna show you then Okay, here it is. Here it is. It's got that nice kind of tan material. It's trimmed in leather. And then it's got a zip pocket here with the, the coach label there. Oh wow, this is a fantastic bag. So, like I said, when I saw it, I was like, bam, okay? You will be mine especially when I saw the price of it. I was like, that is a great price. That's a great bag. And I tell you guys all the time, I know there are some people in this community who 
only carry luxury and that's fine but I don't only carry luxury I mean I think Chanel I think coach is luxury so I put it on that one maybe that's a good one. yeah I like that better okay anyway I love coach I like to carry bags like this you know when we go out and about like if we go to art festivals and things we haven't been doing things like that because of COVID but soon we will again Greek festivals we go to but I just love this bag and I just thought it was so cute so you guys remember this bag that I absolutely love that I bought last year this is also coach and I have used it a lot so these are two hobo bags and I told my friend hi Alex <laughs> remember I told you I wasn't into hobo bags well here you go okay <laughs> I lied no I just I don't know I just really dig these bags this one I can wear crossbody and I don't know why I didn't get a black one like this I meant to I just never did this one I can't wear crossbody but it's super comfortable and I don't know it's just it's just a really cool bag and yeah I love the color so if you're interested in something like this hopefully it's still available and it, they do have kind of a tan color I think it's kind of a tan or gold color I can't remember but a more neutral color but I really love green but yeah these are my two uh, hobo bags from coach and this one's quite a bit bigger but it's not heavy you guys it's a great bag and this is my uh, alternative to the Hermes Evelyn bag <laughs> and I love this bag I don't know I'm I should go on eBay if I can't find it and find a black one so this is my coach unboxing you guys I love it I love it super cute beautiful color so that's the unboxing for you guys and I do have a collaboration coming up that Autumn and Beckman Autumn I do have a collaboration coming up that Autumn and I are going to be doing together and so that's another brand that I have fallen in love with, and it's not Coach. It's something totally different that she got me into. So what do you guys think about this bag? Let me know what you think about it. Oh, what I was going to tell you guys, the ghost is back. She's at it again. Yesterday was six weeks post-op, and I didn't feel as good as I do today, or I just, I don't know, I just wanted to lay around, and that's rare for me. So I laid on the bed, I watched a few shows, and we have two remotes. One of them is missing. I have looked everywhere, except I haven't looked behind the drawers. <laughs> everywhere except behind the drawers. So I swear, I think she's back. I don't know. Weird stuff going on over here. Okay, now for real. I'm gonna see you guys in a couple of days.